In this video, I got five baseball pitching drills for accuracy. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, guys. I got over 500 videos, and if you hit that subscribe button, I'll be able to notify you anytime I upload them. And I got some really good stuff coming, so take a quick second to hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get into it. Five baseball pitching drills for accuracy. I made a video a while ago called Baseball Pitching Drills for Accuracy. Got tons and tons of views, almost 100,000 views now, but I didn't even talk about any drills. What I talked about was four ideas for creating pitching accuracy. In this video, we're gonna talk about the drills. Just give me a second, we're gonna get there. But the four things for thoughts, ideas for pitching accuracy were consistency, conviction, visualization, and body control. If you wanna hear more about those things, I'll leave a link below where you can find that video. But in this video, we're gonna talk about the actual drills that you can do for better at pitching accuracy. First and foremost, whenever you're working on pitching and pitching accuracy, you wanna make sure your alignment is good. This is not one of the drills, but this is just a tip for you. So always, whenever you're on the pitcher's mound or whenever you're working on any drills, draw a line in the dirt, okay? If you're working on dirt, so that you can work heel to heel, okay? You always wanna be heel to heel. So I'm gonna draw it from my back heel and I should be landing with that on my front heel. Okay, which brings me to pitching drill number one for accuracy, which is the rocker drill. So we're gonna get set up on our line, heel to heel. We're gonna get down into it, kind of sit our butt into it. I don't wanna just be straight up. I kinda of wanna sit my butt down into it. And then all we're gonna do is rock back and forth and then separate our hands and then go through our throw, okay? There's two ways to do this pitching drill. One is to leave the back foot down to work on separation from the back foot to the release point, And the other is to let the back foot come up. I recommend doing them both. So I'm gonna show you first the version where you leave the back foot down. Okay, so all you're thinking is taking that back foot and turning the laces to the ground. So I'm here, boom, turning the laces to the ground. Now, the second version, again, I'm heel to heel on my line, is I'm gonna let this back foot come up and over. Okay, so those are the two ways you can do the rocker drill. You can throw, while doing this drill, I know I didn't throw. You can go through dry drills like I did, or you can use a towel for this drill, okay? But great, the main thing is you're working on your alignment, staying heel to heel, and staying balanced and under control while you're doing the rocker drill. The second drill for pitching accuracy is gonna be sit drives. This drill is also good for velocity, but it's also great for accuracy because we're working on our linear energy and driving straight towards our target. All we're gonna do, sit on a bucket or chair. You're gonna get set up, put your knee in a good position, not too far over your foot, not too far away from your foot, just underneath, knee just over your back foot. Sit on the edge of that bucket, you're gonna rock out and drive straight towards your target. Again, if you can do this on the dirt, I'm in the grass now, but if you can do it on the dirt, make sure you've got your line so you can make sure your alignment is good. And we're driving straight towards our target and making a good throw. So that's a gr another great drill for pitching accuracy. The third and the fourth pitching drill for accuracy are gonna be stability drills, okay? Because one of the big ideas for pitching accuracy is stability, being able to control your body, okay? And make it move the way you want to. And if you can do some stability training, you're gonna have better balance, you're gonna be able to control your body better. So one of the ways you can work on that is planks. You guys don't know planks all you're going to do is getting down into a uh, position like a bridge some people call it a bridge and you're just going to stay straight try to make a straight body don't let your butt get too high don't let it sag too low stay right in the middle and just hold it right here chin over your hands and just hold it try to hold it for a minute and then you can relax so that's the first stability one that's the third pitching drill the fourth one is going to be v-sit same thing we're just working on stability we're lifting our feet up, we're leaning back a little bit, and then we're just holding, we're trying to balance. Don't fall off to the side, don't fall back, don't fall forward, just hold it, hold it for a minute, and you're gonna work on your stability. The last pitching drill for accuracy is gonna be another one for balance, and it's gonna be the follow through drill. All we're gonna do is we're gonna get here, stay balanced, and then we're gonna go down and stay balanced while we touch our toe 
Try not to fall over. Touch that toe. Slow and under control. Back up. Lifting it up into a leg lift. Back down. Nice and slow and under control on this one. Okay? Now when you get done, do 10 on that side. You go to the other side. Up. Opposite hand. Opposite foot. You'll, you guys will notice it's a lot harder on one side versus the other. Nice and slow, under control, stay in balance when you're doing this drill. So, those are some pitching drills to work on your pitching accuracy. I hope you like this. If you want three pitching tips to instantly increase your pitching velocity, go ahead and click this video right here. I'm gonna take you to a page where you can enter your first name and your email address, and I'll shoot you that video over right away. If you can't click there, click this link. And if by chance you can't click that, there's a link in the description box. You can click that, it'll take you to the same page, put your first name and your email address, and I'll shoot you that video over right away. You can start working on the stuff that I talk about in that video. Guys, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment below which of those five pitching drills for accuracy do you like the best? I'll talk to you in the comments below. When I was younger, my dad used to find articles in magazines or articles in newspapers about baseball and he would leave them on my bed for me to read. But he never really hounded me or asked me questions about those articles. But what he did was very smart. When I was with him, he would talk to other people about those articles and things. So that made me interested. And I wanted to know what was in those magazine articles or those newspapers. So I always read those. But he never really pushed it on me. And I thought that this would be a great resource for you guys. If you liked any of my videos, you can just click that share and share it with your son um, and maybe use that technique that my dad used. I don't know if he knew it or not that he was doing that, but it worked really well. He wasn't hounding me too bad and all he did was share it with me and, uh, and I wanted to read it because he was talking to everyone else about it. So go ahead and share any of the videos that you like. If you like this video, you can share it with your son. Um, and, then, and then, because that's the way it is nowadays, we don't really have magazines and newspapers. But, uh, and then try to talk to people when your son is with you, talk to people around town and hopefully he'll catch on and, and want to read them and, and want to check out some of these videos and you guys will be better because of it. So I hope that helps guys. Share the video.